Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest 1, The Serian Encounter. Last time, uh, our little cat space janitor, Cat Sequences, uh, took a spin in the washing machine and came out in a Sarian soldier's uniform. Uh, I just want to check the washing machine to see, do we need our old laundry cleaning unit is not being used at this time. Um, get clothes. Are our old sets of clothes gone? But, uh, uh, we'll probably be fine, but in case we got into kind of a friendly fire situation, I wondered if it would be good to have our old, um, or even our space suit, because if we need to get into space, then, well, maybe there's an escape pod. Let's hope there's an escape pod. Let's go this way. So now we, have, we, should, we should be able to mooch around the halls with impunity. Well, can we talk to the Sarian? Let's see how that goes. So there's like, a couple of lifts there, but I'm not going to use those. The guard talks back. <laughs> Very droll game. Very droll. Right. So the language of uh, Adventure Games tells me there's a doorway to the south here. Is that the case? It is! Oh, that's the corridor that we first came out on the bottom level of and promptly got shot. Okay. So there's... So where do these lifts go then? That's interesting. And if we take too long, is somebody going to get suspicious? Look at those pipes. Aren't they magnificent? Okay. Is the... Can I get walk through these pillars? Oh yeah, so they're just superficial. Let's show this gantry's here and leads to another room. Those are elevators and they go down to the next level. So that's how we'd get down there. Probably. Would that lead to... Ooh, this is quite maze-like, isn't it? Hi. 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 I'm new. This is my first day. Uh, I'm on laundry duty. Okay. Um, oh, there's too many choices. Oh. What is that? Is that good? You know, once we know where we can go, we can reload and get straight back there. Um, look. Corridor. You're in a hallway aboard the Deltor. Thanks. Interesting, there's, there's little pixels of grey in the walking animation around the character's arm. Don't know if they should be there. They don't quite match the colour scheme. Alright, so there's a room here, if we go here. Oh, that's how you get here! Oh, so that just leads you in a big loop. I, I see. I, I see. Orientation. Right, so this should take me down to the level below, a la the elevators in the Arcada. I find it really weird to tell when our character's facing forward because it looks like the back of their head when they've got like a um, like a headband tied around them. But it's just blank when they're facing away from us and then this weird visor thing. Oh, yeah, okay, so this just gets us back to this corridor. Oh, hello, hello. I'm just gonna check this storage room, which is where we left our, uh-oh. The box is gone. The jetpack is gone. Game. That was our only way out. Well, well, hopefully it wasn't our only way out. And that door is locked. It says, uh, we just disappear into the background. That's amazing. Okay. All right, so we have actually few choices, which is good. Um, is that good? I don't know. It's an interesting design choice, I think. Nope, there's another Sarian here. So our only real choices are to use the two elevators 
in the first screen we immediately came to after leaving the laundry. Uh, see, excuse, excuse me, excuse, excuse me. I'm going up in the elevator. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Well, now I know. Should we try? I'm not sure what that beeping is. Oh, ah, this might that droid might be a problem. Oh, uh, read sign out of order. Okay, you know what? We're gonna use that again in a minute. Um, read sign. Seen one door, seen them all. Ah, okay. Look, elevator. It seems no different than all the other doors aboard the ship. Interesting. Yeah, I think that might do us a mischief. Oh, okay. So if we try and see what happens if it. It's. I mean, it looks very impressive. There's a guardian droid here roaming the corridor. Fortunately, it recognises you as a Sarian. Interesting. Oh, I guess we would have run foul of that if we hadn't immediately just wondered what would happen if we jumped in the washing machine. So it, that might be a, a puzzle we preemptively solved. All right, so we're now on a new level, which I think is the only place we could go. So let's save this. So, wash machine instant. Let's save this as. Well, surely we won't need to go back to Human's Flats. Um, a whole new level. Okay. Uh, let's go left first of all, where there isn't an open doorway. But I'm curious. Oh, is this Aaron? Oh, you know what? It's just going to be an elevator to go upstairs, isn't it? Well. Knowing that that's there is good. Let's go right through the open doorway. Oh, hello. They always hang around suspicious. Suspicious like. Are you going to let me th through the door? Yeah, luckily we're 2D planes passing in the night. Oh! Now this looks like this might be... You are beside an enormous. You are inside an enormous chamber. Before you stands the stolen star generator. <gasps> so this is what all the fuss is about. I mean, it is fantastic. Before you stands the star generator. You find it hard to believe that this contraption could save or destroy an entire galaxy. Now, immediately I can see there is a, a gantry uh, with a low rail running above this thing. And above this guard, um, I'm thinking we might need to drop something from a great height. Leave me alone! I am guarding the star generator. What happens if we uh, touch star generator? Say what? Um, we've got a code, haven't we, to put into it? Can we can we use the star generator? Um, what if we look star generator from really close by? At the base of the star generator is a control panel of some sort. Okay, what if we look at control panel? The force field which surrounds the star generator prevents you from getting any closer. Right, alright. Target. Right, so force field needs to be turned off. I guess we could do that in a in a brute force kind of way possibly or with some kind of electricity control oh hello I'm not sure why there's quite so many I mean it's, I like it that there are sirens around but from a puzzle point of view Um, they don't serve a purpose because we can only have got this far in a disguise. So, not sure really. Alright, so, uh, quick look at the inventory. What have we got? Um, we don't really have anything heavy, I don't think, other than 
Maybe this is a vibe on kid. That's probably not very heavy, but that's that's gonna be more like a like a light first aid kit kind of thing. Oh, it's another one of these. Interesting. It does yeah, it does seem vaguely familiar that we're gonna have to drop something down here. Let's see where we can go to on the right and whether that offers us any new opportunities. Oh, I think it might do. Is this a gun shop? Is this the armory? Welcome to the weapons dispensary. I will assist you. Please supply me with your identification card. Ah. Uh. Mm, do we have an identification card? Um. Show card. You do not possess a valid Serian ID card. Where do we get one of those then? Um, look, droid. He's watching you very closely. You had better play it cool. Uh, look, counter. There are two gas grenades sitting on the right side of the counter. Okay, well that's probably what we want, isn't it? Can I get a gas, gas grenade? Get gren grenade. I am sorry, you may, not, you may not possess that device. That would be punishable by death. Interesting. Um, what if I... Well, look, guns. Don't send guns. Okay, now this particular scenario seems rather familiar. Um, how are we going to get an ID card? Well, what if we have, what if we look, pockets? In the pocket of this uniform is an alien identification card. The name on the card is Butston Frame. You wonder if this is a commissarian name. Okay. Show card. Excuse me, I shall retrieve your weapon. Oh, we don't get to choose. We get Butston Frame's weapon. Oh, this is when we... Oh, this is when we're supposed to get the grenade. Oh. Oh. Your rank allows you to bear one pulse array unit. Remember, no firing in the ship. Have a nice day. F6. Oh no. Is there shooting? Uh, oh no. Oh no. That That is also ring. Ah, oh, the droid looks you over and responds sorry, only one weapon per person. Alright, I think we need to do this little bit again so that I can. What happens? Hang on. What happens if I. The droid explains that although he is not programmed for death, he considers it extremely rude to fire your weapon indoors. He cautions you against doing so again. He did warn you. Okay, disintegrated. <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to bring us back to this room and we'll save before we uh, whip out the ID card. For posterity's sake, here's what the Sarian ID card looks like. There you go, this is a Serian ID card. The name on the card is Butston Freem. You wonder if this is a common Serian name. Okay, so uh, let's go. Right. Can I go, can I be down here and show card? Because that would be frightfully handy. You are not close to, ah, uh, okay. Okay. Well, I have got. I'm, I'm playing on a keyboard with a numpad now. So can I three it down? And, no, I can't really. The angle's not quite right. Oh, well. uh, right. Let's just risk it. Show card. Right. Can I start typing? No. Okay. I get grenade. I mean, it's fairly generous, isn't it, with timings? Oh, okay. You only have one. But we got one. Your rank allows you to bear one pulse array unit. Remember, no firing in the ship. Have a nice day. Right, well, let's save this then as um, grenade and gun. Um, I'm not quite sure who we need to sh shoot. 
Well, why? Because we're well disguised. I guess we could just go and we'll just see what happens if we just shoot the guards by the star generator. And then we might have to shoot our way out after that. I mean, we can drop the grenade. Does that help? Yes. I feel like we've got to drop something. The grenade drops to the floor, releasing its poisonous gas on the unsuspecting alien. Poisonous? I thought it... Oh. Good shot, consequences. Oh, now I feel bad. Well, uh, I guess I'll keep my finger uh, hovering somewhere near the F6 key, just in case. Hmm. Ah, I see. My, aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your own ability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet is now riding the elevator without you. You've blown your cover. The Sarians are sure to shoot first and ask questions later. Now I know why I needed the gun. Good job I got the gas grenade too. Alright. Okay. It's action. Action time. I think I think Roger Walker looks rather dashing like this, and so has those grey pi grey pixels, which is interesting. Hold over from previous. Whoa! Geez, consequences. Go take some marksmanship courses and come back and give it another try in a couple of months, okay? Okay. Uh, I'll give it another try in a couple of minutes. I've got my finger lightly pressed against the F6 key. I'm going to press it as soon as we get to the next screen. Oh, there we go. I, might, I think I might save that. Right, so, I mean, we shouldn't have to shoot anybody when we get into the next room, right? Because it's got no other exits or entrances. And it would make sense that the, um, the Sarian who'd just come from that chamber would be suspicious of us. Frankly, given the situation. Right. Uh, I wonder how we deactivate the force field. Let's have a look. Let's search. Well, let's look body first. He appears to be dead. Search body. You seem to have found a remote control device of some sort. It has only one button, labelled on off. So can I get remote control? The guard has nothing else of interest. Oh, did I, did I get it all ready? Uh, I did. Nice. Um, can I type press button on remote control and have this understand? No. Uh, press remote control? Use remote control. Because it only does one thing, turn on or off. Um, press button. Suddenly the force field protecting the Sarians, the star generator, disappears. Okay. Well that was, um, hmm. Alright, now we can look at the control panel. I suspect we might get a new interface thing come up. Yes! F6 to select key. Oh, oh, <gasps> okay, I'm moving the cursor with this, now this seems very familiar, oh, I love this, okay, um, yes, I remember looking at this before, yeah, okay, we do have a number to uh, fill in, I've got it written down here from when we looked at Vohal's um, report on the star generator, we needed to get I guess it's F6 because enter is um, actually enter for the, the parser. Right, so 6. Oh, is it not going to show what we're... Okay. 6, 8, 9, 8, enter. Detonating, detonation. 
cycle has begun. So, oh, now I need to get out of here. Okay, the star generator has come alive. The heat that this thing is starting to generate tells you that it's time to blow this taco stand. Oh, oh that sound. Okay, hang on. Right, so I'm getting carried away. Um, so I think we had five minutes, it said. We have five, yeah, I think so. With that five minutes of real time? I think time might be a bit faster than real time. Uh, possibly. Depending on how fast the cycles are for the game at the moment. Um, right. Uh, clear out. Um, but I'm probably going to have to shoot my way out as well, aren't I? If this is what I, I expect. Oh, sharpshooter. Right, so actually, we don't need to go anywhere else in this level. We just need to go back here, pres presumably. Okay, and then through... No, we can't go through the... Oh, we can't go through the vents, so we're going to have to go to... How do we get to... Downstairs. Oh, if you have to be facing any particular direction, you just have to play F press F6. That's a relief. Okay, so we're definitely going to be panic pressing it at the start of every screen. Oh, if the robot droid could laugh, which is not pro, it is not prone to do. It would do so. Your pulse array is only effective against living opponents. Oh. Ah! You know what? They don't. Oh! <laughs> Oh, they, hmm, they're randomised every time you enter the screen. So that's fine, you can get the situation. But, uh, oh, okay. Let's try that again. Uh-oh. Alright, let me just come back. So, I, old, uh, old Space Janitor, Roger Wilco, whatever you name them, has, um, has turned full action here at this point, haven't they? Alright, I think it's bobbing along the bottom of the screen, so I don't need to worry about that. You've just, you've just been disintegrated by contact with the robot droid. Well, how was I supposed to know it was there? I didn't even get to see the cool animation. Alright, we need to do a disintegration animation, don't we, just to see... It's a glowing pixel there, though. That's cool. All right. Cheeky game. All right. So if you can't see it, it could be on the right. Okay. Oh, I pressed it. I... Pr Oh, it's not one of those. Sometimes they seem more invested in um, reaching one side of the hall from the other. And sometimes they just sort of bob up and down or side to side. I guess that's the um, randomised path as well, isn't it? Right, so how, how am I supposed to know where this droid is? Right, this is going to be called Droid. Let's try this one. Oh, okay, it was over in that corner. I think we're going to... Okay, that's good. Um, so I might save it for a second here. Oh, now I know why all these corridors are here. I think there's probably always a robot in that elevator one. Although it might not have been. There was no sound the first time we passed through. Hmm. But I think it's to make more of a um, maze of getting out. I think that's the intention. 
All right, there's you there. So this will take us back onto the gantry, which leads to the where the elevators are. Oh, I, you heard that right? I pressed that two times. Two times. Two times. Oh, you're toast. All right, we're safe again. Uh, every room cleared. Every screen cleared. Okay. I keep I I keep pressing it. I I keep pressing it. I keep I keep pressing it. It doesn't seem to be helping. You've just been reduced to microparticles by the alien's pulse array. You'll have to be quicker on the draw than that, cat sequences. Ay ay ay. Um, have I got a better chance if I approach from a different angle? Because that's the angle might be the issue here. I'm not sure. Right, I was I was hammering it there. Um, all right, let's try. Can we go the other way instead? Maybe. It seems to work a lot better if you're going side to side rather than up and down. All right, there's nobody here yet, but there might be in a minute. Okay. All right, well, this is as good a chance as any, isn't it? So let's save this. Also under droid. Okay, so I think there's always going to be somebody here. Yes, okay, that's what you need to do, really. Cool, now we should say that again. So there won't be anybody on the bottom of this. Well, they might be programmed to enter. There shouldn't be anybody at the bottom of the screen, and they would be hard to um, take care of if the there's a directional problem between uh, registering shots from side to side or up and down. So hopefully not, but there probably will be on the next screen, so we'll attempt that, but we will be tracing down and not to the... Oh no! <gasps> you... Okay, it should disappear if we... Okay, yep, no, we've got away with that. Okay. <laughs> Lucky this pulse array can shoot round corners. All right. Imagine trying to do this in one go without saving. Right, so there shouldn't be anybody in here, should there? No, okay. Right, where's the box gone? How do I get out of the... Right, look. Door. Door is tightly sealed. Open door. Door is not impressed. So how do I get out of here? How do I get out of this ship? Because that's that's going to be the the main issue. Um, look room. You're standing in a large empty room within the Saren ship. On one wall is a vent. There is some sort of trunk on the floor. Is the trunk still there? Even though it's not there. Can I open the trunk? There is no trunk here. Is it, is it, I mean, it should be over here if it had been left where I'd put it. Um, get jetpack. 
So how am I supposed to get... Oh, you know what? We probably need to go into the laundry, don't we? To, um... To get our outfit back. Like our, our space suit. Alright, I'm going back. You convinced me. Although, why we couldn't carry it before? Hmm. <gasps> Kaboom! Despite your surprisingly valiant effort, you have been blown to eternity by the star generator itself. Oh. Um. Well, let's try that again. So, I will see you, if I can make it there, in the laundry to see what happens there. Okay, we're back in the laundry. Um, how, what if I look in washing machine? So I might be coming, you don't have time to be standing around. Get in washing machine. You certainly don't have, you certainly don't want to do that again. You've got lives to save. Can I get suit? Oh, okay. So that doesn't work. So what, what am I missing here? What have I, what have I failed to do? Your alien outfit is too bulky to allow you into the vent. So I can't get in the vent. Oh, do I need to use my ID card to get into the... Oh, I just saved over my... Oh, that's disappointing. Maybe I need my ID card. Okay, that was quite cool. Um, le let's go through. So we're gonna try and use the ID card to get through the door, even though there was no suggestion there was a security panel or anything, but it's vaguely now just to what we did to escape the Arcada. So let's try that. I should do that. Um, is there a panel? Um, how, how does the door look? Um, unlock door. Perhaps if you stood closer to the door. Oh, okay. Uh, how does one get closer to the door? Oh, do you, do you think I'm talking about the the door on the right there? Um, look, airlock. It was tightly sealed. Open air. Open airlock. The door is not impressed. Unlock airlock. Okay, so you we're not talking about the same thing there, are we? Um I don't know how we do this. Can I go vent? Vent. Rain outfit is too bulky. Can I change clothes? No. Can I put on Suit. What else have we got? Um, is there anything we haven't used? Not really. I think we've done everything really. Um, what if I press but button? No. I look, is there a window in the airlock door? No. Um, I've, I've no idea. How do we get off this ship? Oh, maybe the, you know what? If that's a dead end, maybe the other elevator works now and can go somewhere. Let's try. Oh, game. Why would you, why would I expect that that would be fixed in the few minutes between a crisis and 
Oh, oh okay. Right. Look, pod. The ship is a one-man transport vessel. Go, pod. You swiftly slip into the sleek ship. Try to say that three times fast. You swiftly slip into the sleek ship. You swiftly slip into the sleek ship. You swiftly slip into the sleek... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, close, hatch. Hatch. Right, look, controls. You... Fan you f I thought I said you fanatically. You frantically search the control... Launch control console for the launch button. Aha, there it is. Press button. Oh, yep. There we go. space no one can hear you explode the deltor has been blown to tiny fragments by the force of the star generators blast you have saved the lives of millions of your people not to mention the lives of those in other systems don't get a big head congratulations captain Gwences. you rid the universe of the evil sarians and saved your people from a certain doom the star generator technology is safe inside the delta cartridge now a new star generator can be built and can carry out its original task you're an all-round hero. You've made it home safely aboard the stolen Sarian craft, where you've encountered a cheering Xenon crowd. They have gathered together for a ceremony in your honour. Ceremony is already in progress. Ah, And how... Our joy turned up too. Applause. Well, this is a lovely indie screen. As a token of appreciation, you're presented with a golden mop. Thank you, Consequences, for cleaning up our galaxy, says the Xenon leader. That's nice. Once a janitor, always a janitor. That's cool. Aww. The end! Thank you for playing Space Quest. You're welcome. Thank you, Space Quest. Now I'm wondering what I needed to do. Watch for Space Quest 2, I will do! Um, I'm wondering what I need to do to get those extra seven points, because I can't imagine there were any stones I left unturned. Really? Was there anything else I could have done in any of those areas? I even picked up the plant. I didn't even need the plant. Alright, the credits are going to roll at the bottom. So let's, let's just have a little summary of, of what I think of Space Quest, having played it again after a, a very long period of time. Um, I had a really good time, actually. I found all bar the... well... Yeah, it, all bar the Eulens flat section uh, were really good and reasonably intuitive, or at least there were um, enough clues and our uh, Cat's Quins is Galactic Warrior. I get in the credits, that's nice. Um, yeah, there are, uh, there's enough restriction on the... Um, the number of possibilities that you had to try before hitting something in, I'd say, the first two and last segments. Wasn't found on the arcade uh, driving and shooting segments. Definitely not my favourite. And um, yeah, Newlands Flats just had too many, too many problematic um, issues. I mean, it hid, hid a lot of information behind what I presume can only be satisfied by exhaustive trial and error and also involved relying on a on a, a an actually randomized gambling uh, mechanic to um, to get what you needed to complete that section but I have enjoyed the humor I really enjoyed um, all the deaths we managed to find um, and I, I think something that struck me uh, this time perhaps looking at the game with a much more analytical eye than I had at the t the first time of playing um, is that I really like the um, the overall structure of the game. It's episodic, but each episode allows for a different stage of the narrative. So I think I identified before that the first uh, the first section was kind of all 
geared around escape, the second was around survival, the third was transaction. It's really interesting that the the puzzles were primarily built around those those themes as well. Um, so it's it's a really good way of telling a story through the gameplay of an adventure game. It's kind of um, Space Quest is a is a pretty good archetypical adventure game, especially an early adventure game for doing those things pretty well actually, but also throwing in lots of egregious bugbears of adventure game design, such as arcade sequences and <laughs> randomization. Um, and um, and yeah, and absolutely just throwing things in and out of the blue that you wouldn't necessarily have thought to, uh, to try. And then, yeah, I suppose to finish that thought, the fourth and final segment really was themed around subterfuge and it was kind of, that was the, the hero section where you got to be a sneaky, a sneaky spy who also, you know, did pratfalls and went in the washing machine, but you were the sneaky spy turned action hero. So yeah, actually, there's, there's a pretty decent story structure in there and the puzzles are geared around it. Um, for the most part, apart from when it all gets a bit baggy in Newlands Flats. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed the humour and I, I look forward to playing more Space Quest games again in the future because I, I think I'm going to get get a lot out of them. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed um, watching this uh, series of rediscovery videos and uh, we'll be back again with something soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Janta's Log Supplemental. Having finished the game, I did a little bit of online searching out of curiosity and a courtesy of spacequest.net. I've got a few interesting little tidbits that I'd like to share with you. First of all, the website assures me that the original boxed copies of the game came with a couple of paper coupons that were not just a novelty item included there for fun, they were actually part of the gameplay. So one was the coupon that's mentioned in the game that gives you a discount at the droid shop which is just sort of taken for granted um, which, which makes sense why it is now take, taken for granted now that I know that, that exists and the other was a coupon for the bar Ulan's Flats uh, where you would get uh, five buckazoids and a free beer so you'd have to uh, where's the droids coupon uh, is automatically taken for granted by the shop owner you have to go to the barman and uh, enter a command to present your coupon there. I like that as a as a game mechanic, as long as you know the coupon exists, because um, then you've got you've got a way of prompting the player to drink at the bar and possibly gain that clue about the location of the Delta. And it also leaves them an extra buckazoid left over for gambling should they need it. Um, so I'm I'm kind of in favour, but you really do need to include that in the game documentation in in some way, which apparently the anthology releases of Space Quest games didn't. And as you can see here in um, the manual for the anthology that I got, yeah, no mention of, of any coupons there, which does make that section a bit more additionally confusing than it would have originally been. Next up, a couple of little interesting things from the Delta. So apparently this is, um, I think, one of the few occasions where there is an alternative solution to a particular problem. You can, uh, instead of going through the vents in the Delta to get to the laundry room, you can actually get in the trunk, which I think I tried by typing hide trunk, but apparently if you just type in get in trunk, then the following series of events ensues. Um, you get in, you have to wait for a minute, um, and then a text screen tells you that you've been moved, uh, and things open up in the laundry room. And then somehow mysteriously a jetpack has also disappeared to um, make things align between the, uh, the two solutions, so that you're not carrying extra equipment around. Although, there's no situation in which you they, they permit you to use your jetpack, so it, it really doesn't matter, I don't think. It also turns out that the Deltor is the place where you can make up the last few points to get a, uh, a full score of 202. So, uh, I mean, these are things uh, you're probably not going to think to do. Um, well, first of all, uh, you need to talk to Sarians a, a lot. 
so we we tried it once and I got, I got a very um, terse response from the game so I didn't bother trying again but there are actually quite a lot of random uh, replies programmed into the game and they'll just keep cycling through if you keep talking to Sarians um, until uh, keep going until you find one asking whether you have bought uh, King's Quest 2 uh, if the Sarian says that and then the next thing you type in is yes um, you get the you get this message and also um, you get some extra points I think five points which is, is rather nice but then uh, the next thing you can do is um, type kiss Sarian um, which uh, you <laughs> The text, uh, text message assures you that you think better of that uh, once uh, trying to make the attempt, but you still get an extra point of score for that. The last place to get some extra points on the Deltor that I can think of is uh, is the the armory. So once you've dropped the, the gas grenade that you first um, steal from the armory while the droid is busy uh, fetching your gun, uh, once you've done that, head back to the armory and then I guess because you've left the room and come back again the droid doesn't realize you're the same person to start with um, so they will check your ID show them your ID head around the counter get the grenade head back they um, they say oh sorry I can't give you a gun because you've already checked one out but you've got the extra gas grenade what can you do with it nothing as far as I can tell but there you go a few more interesting details from the corners of Space Quest 1 and apparently you can try and feed the plant from Corona to the wiggly tentacle monster from the grate. Something to try out on another playthrough I think. Until next time, take care and always wash your hands.